I bought this little fella at the local supermarket. He was looking lonely, so I brought him home and introduced him to what life was going to be like at my place. Not sure what this stuff is, but it grows like a weed in my area. And after a quick reorientation session, this little piece got a new lease of life. In this model, I found this seat, and it looked like things were starting to take shape. I found this little fire extinguisher and decided to cut the top off. But don't worry, it's not a real fire extinguisher, so I didn't break any scalpel blades. My mother gave me this beard trimming looking thingy. But from the minute I saw it, I knew it was actually designed to tear the shreds out of the back wheels on other people's motorbikes. A quick date with the Dremel and another piece of the puzzle was ready to go. This stuff is high tensile steel mesh. You can use it to reinforce concrete or you can use it to stop big rocks from getting stuck in your motor. Inside this model, I found this differential. I realised it would be better for delivering power to the back wheels than the piece of wire I was currently using. Time to start painting. When you build crazy crap like I do, it's a good idea to give things a quick coat of paint as soon as you're comfortable with the shape of the piece. If you don't own an airbrush, you should buy one. Even if you don't want to paint anything, you don't even like modelling, it doesn't really matter, you should still just go and buy an airbrush. This is why. There's plenty of videos out there about salt chipping techniques, but it goes like this. You wet the model, you salt the model, let it dry and paint it. Once the paint's dry, you wash the salt off and you're left with this kind of look. Plumbers use this tape for fixing taps. I use it for making things look less plasticky, but it needs a lot of paint because it doesn't stick too well. The hunt was on for some other useful pieces. I couldn't decide if I wanted to use this piece at the front or this piece, so I used them both.
It was obvious to me that the best place to put a fuel tank is right behind the driver's seat. Aside from the hilarious possibilities it would promote, I simply had nowhere else to put it. Face it, folk, who doesn't love chutney? This is just a mixture of steel wool and vinegar left in a jar to fester. It tastes horrible, but I use it to make my models look dusty. Like this model. The trouble is it doesn't look anything like the 